last week of the second trimester. I am so ready to be in the home stretch. Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am 26 weeks pregnant. Last week of the second trimester. So as far as symptoms this week, you guys, I don't have a whole lot to update you with, but I do have a couple. And the biggest one is the fact that Andy moves nonstop. <laughs> she is constant. 24-7, she's always moving, it's insane. I actually have a really neat clip of her moving and I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. I don't know if anybody else has ever experienced this, but have you ever had a baby that moves so much that you really feel ill? Well, that's me. <laughs> and it's really making me sick to my stomach, and I know there's not really anything I can do about it because it's related to her moving, and the only way to make me stop being nauseous is for her to stop moving, <laughs> and I can't, there's nothing I can do. And something really interesting happened this week. For the very first time, I had a food aversion. I have never had one before, ever. So my husband ordered pizza for me yesterday because he like reads my mind or something. I don't know what that was, but he like read my mind and he just knew that I was dreading cooking yesterday and he ordered me a pizza and it came with a root beer. And for some reason when I opened the bottle, Oh, I had to go to the bathroom, I had to stand over the toilet, and I had to make sure that I wasn't going to barf because it was, it was bad. It was really bad. And I've never experienced that before, so that's a first for me. And the last symptom that I have for you guys is now not only do I have the insomnia, but I, now I'm also waking up like five times in the middle of the night to switch positions and to get comfortable again or to pee, and I'm starting to hit like that stage of pregnancy. In other news, we have found somebody to do our maternity pictures. Ah, angels are singing. And I am just so happy that we found somebody last minute. It was ridiculously hard. I contacted a lot of photographers and they were all booked, which I kind of figured they would be. It's kind of last minute. But I found somebody and she said that she would do it the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So we'll have our Christmas slash maternity slash anniversary pictures because Deb and I got married December 31st and we always kind of put it in there whenever we get Christmas pictures pictures every year. So that will be next week. I'm so excited because these pictures are going to mean so much to us and I can't wait to show you all. And the last bit of news that I have for you guys, I'm so sorry you all, this isn't a very long bump date. I just didn't have a whole lot to talk about this week. But the very last bit of news I have is I had my prenatal appointment this week and if you haven't seen it, I will have the link down below so you can watch it. But during the appointment, they measured my belly and they told me that I'm measuring ahead. Surprise, surprise. If you haven't been following my pregnancy this whole time here in a little bit you'll see my bump shot and you'll see how big my belly is for only being 26 weeks I just have a feeling that Andy's gonna be a big baby at least big for me I've never had a baby over eight pounds Carly was 712 and Kinley was our littlest she's 74 and I have a feeling that she's gonna be bigger than the Kinley but I don't know if she'll be bigger than Carly so she just might and I'm saying might be our first eight pound baby. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. So Miss Andy is going to be a big old healthy girl. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys my 26 week bump. So this is my 26 week bump. This is from this side and the front side. And I could actually like show you guys how she's laying because it's so much easier to do it this way than it is to do it sitting over there. So. Uh, her favorite position, she still moves all over, but her favorite position is to have her butt right here in my right rib and her head down here in my left hip. So she's kind of like diagonal. I hope I said that right. Anyway, but her back I'm guessing is like along this section of my belly. So it's butt and then she kind of lays like this with her head down here and her feet and her hands and everything are on this side of my belly because most of her movement I feel right around in here. So 
I'm guessing that's her. Oh gosh, I can't talk today, you guys. So that's her favorite position to be in is this way. Although sometimes she does like to be transverse and that hurts. It really hurts when she's transverse. But most of the time, it's this way. It's her favorite sp spot to be in. And this is this side. I feel massive, but oh well. This is with the shirt up. And that side. My pup's rash is still really bad. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you can sort of see it. My pup's rash is still really bad. I've got some good stretch marks. Oh well. Stretch marks don't bother me. They never have. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to be on Baby Andy Watch, I have all of the links to my social media down below in my description bar so you can check all of those out. But I will see you Monday in a new vlog. Bye guys.